What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today we're going to ask and answer the simple question, should you upgrade to LOL Minor 1.35? And the answer, not as always, is going to be a bit more nuanced depending on your particular situation. So stay tuned for all the details after a word from today's sponsor. Well, actually partner in this case. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Gamersups. Gamersups provides a healthy alternative to sugary energy drinks with delicious flavors like Misfits Melon or my favorite Blue Raz. I use the Gamersups as an alternative to support my active lifestyle outside of content creation. Caffeine free options are great for late night gaming after the kids have gone to bed. And my favorite part about Gamersups is that they accept cryptocurrency. And for a limited time, when you purchase a tub with cryptocurrency, you will receive a Bitcoin shaker. Follow the affiliate link in the description and don't forget to use code SOAT at checkout. Welcome back. So definitely go get yourself that Bitcoin shaker if you are interested. And if not, you know. Thanks for just clicking the link, at least at the very least, to help support the channel if you did that. Today we're going to talk about LOL Miner 1.35. Now, this is released just today, and it primarily focuses on Ergo because there are some big changes coming up in Ergo. Actually, there's some there's a couple. There's a couple. So let's go over the notes and then I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about why this is happening. And then we're going to talk about the light hash rate unlocks for the 3060 Rev 1 and Rev 2 and see if there was any performance increase over the previous version of LOL Miner and the current king of the hill for LHR unlocks and B Miner. All right. So First things first, LOL Miner 1.35, feature changes, ergo, adjusted all codes mining Autolicos V2 to be ready for the Epoch 1 and higher starting Sunday, November 7th at 8 a.m. UTC. To continue mining ergo, please update to this version. Obviously, this is super important. If you are mining ergo, you need this miner, and luckily it works for AMD and NVIDIA. If you are using a different miner that is not LOL, you need to see if they have put out an update to support, of course, these changes coming to Ergo. Why are these changes coming to Ergo? Well, it's multifaceted, but one of the reasons is going to be that we have Ergo Dex launching on Monday as well. This is kind of the beta page for it. And this is kind of the, the, the main page. It's a decentralized exchange on Ergo and Cardano. This is going to be really important for GPU miners. We really need this partnership to go well. We need the supply of Ergo to increase and the price of Ergo to increase to compensate, of course, for ETH moving to proof of stake, which is also uh, as well in these notes. So just the notes from the miners can actually clue you in on a lot of things. So pay attention to them and definitely hit the like, comment, and subscribe and notification bell to be notified when we do videos about them. Ergo, Okay, more feature changes on Ergo. Added ability for all AMD cards to pre-build the next Ergo data set while mining. This is at a cost of slightly slower mining directly after a height change, but generally improves poolside performance. So essentially there's a performance increase there except for uh, outside of the GCN1 and Vega generations. Okay, so more for Ergo. Improved performance of AMD Hawaii generation of chips by about 2%. Now let's talk about Ethereum ET hash. We have some feature changes. They added error correcting tables to check the DAG integrity up to Epoch 499 early June 2022. Why is that date significant? Well, obviously that date is the proposed date to move from proof of work to proof of stake for Ethereum. So it being acknowledged in the notes in LOL Miner is also important because that is just further confirming that assumption that we will be moving to proof of stake for Ethereum sometime in early June. Until then, there is basically a fix for error correcting tables to check the DAG integrity. There you go. 
And then the biggest one for Ethereum or DET hashes, they added an option to use version 1.33 semi-unlocker style. Uh, this was a more performant for GDDR6X cards, and you can use the LHR Tune Switch X Auto to activate the 1.33 solver style auto tuning and use the LHR Switch X to set a predetermined tune value. The 1.33 style solver can be mixed with 1.34 plus style solvers by using a comma separated list of value. Bug fixes include fixed a bug some crashed NVIDIA cards did not trigger like the watchdog and ET hash fixed a bug causing the worker name not to be correctly passed to the pool in some cases in 1.34a. It is important to note that the new Ergo epochs will increase the size of the data set used for mining by 5% every 75 days. Some cards might need a bit more core clock to achieve the used performance. Also, two gigabyte cards in zombie mode will see a significant reduction in speed because the data set is now more than two gigabytes in size now. So that's gonna be important if you have two gigabyte cards on Ergo right now. So, obviously, this is a super informative set of patch notes for LOL Miner that has clued us in not only on changes coming to Ergo, but also changes coming to Ethereum and is super important to be up to date on. So, hopefully, you guys got a lot of information just out of that. Now, everybody is going to be asking, of course, should I upgrade to 1.35 for light hash rate unlocks? And if we compare it to of course, the previous LOL miner, which was 1.34, maybe. And that is primarily due to the additional option to use the 1.33 solver. So if you're getting better hash rates off of 1.33 and you stayed on there, you do have the option to move to 1.35 and still get those. Is there a direct performance increase from 1.34 to 1.35? If we take a look at the results, the answer is pretty much no, right? So you're looking at 30 mega hash a second on Rev 1 and Rev 2. If we take a look at it compared to NB minor, should you move from NB minor to LOL minor? And once again, the answer is no. NB minor still at this point with the latest version 39.7 or 39.7 is going to be outperforming it, albeit by just a tad, like one mega hash, which could be in general, of course, uh within margin of error now if we take a look at the overclocks nothing changes there either the overclocked plus 1300 megahertz that we do on both of these 3060s on the latest version of lol miner is still going to be around that 35 mega hash a second the only kind of neat thing that i saw was the revision one gpu outperforming the revision two gpu when overclocked and this is probably due to of course the additional power draw that the revision one has from that six pin additional pcie power but i haven't seen that in the past in the past it's always still been the revision two unlocks better more reliably and hashes better not overclocked and overclocked so just a little bit of an outlier there as far as those comparisons go so as you guys should know, as far as utilizing LOL Miner, should you, should you not? Well, it's a pretty clear cut case. If you're mining Ergo right now, it's gonna be your best bet. It's on the ball faster than the other Ergo miners at this point. Hopefully we'll see those come out and you can let me know when they launch down in the comment section below. And it's just going to be needed for you to continue to mine Ergo. So obviously you will do the upgrade. If you're mining Ethereum and you are on 1.33 and you are wanting to upgrade to a later miner, you could go to 1.35 and put the switch in to get the additional power that you got from 1.33 versus 1.34, but it's unnecessary at this time. So, you know, there you go. In the case that there are some issues going on with your NVIDIA GPUs not triggering the watchdog when they crash. 
then there's a bug fix here as well. And that could probably potentially save you some hashing power because the watchdog would help restart the miner as opposed to just sitting there hanging. So that's important. Hopefully you found this video in help. <laughs> Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. On Monday, we will be covering, of course, Ergo decks because that is a big deal for GPU miners and I think just the community as a whole in cryptocurrency because we are getting off of that Ethereum teat and we need to get off that Ethereum teat to be successful. It just, that's what we need to do. Everybody, not just miners, needs to get off of Ethereum. The fees are too high, it's ridiculous and it's centralized. It's getting incredibly frustrating, but as miners, I still encourage you, you're running a business. Don't forget you're running a business. Mine the most profitable right now. That's Ethereum. We'll see where we go from there afterwards. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.